Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I haven't uploaded in quite some time so I'm back with a good old watercolor Polaroid painting video and all of the paintings are going to be a sunset theme. Before we get started, I always get asked in the comment section about the size of the paper I use so I hope this clears it a little bit. As you can see, I use these A4 sheets of watercolor paper and fold it in half like this and cut them and then i fold the half again and you can see i normally do two sizes for this kind of painting so this half would be the bigger size for the polaroid painting and if you fold that in half as well you get the smaller polaroid size in this video i decided to make three paintings two small ones and one big one so after i have all of my pieces i use washi tape to tape off all the edges as you can see i don't use any exact measurements for this but just in case you want the measurements i will make sure to put them in the description but in my case i just try to make the lines as straight as possible and i like to leave more space at the bottom just so i can add a little coat at the end i will be using my windsor and newton watercolor palette as well as some watercolor tubes from faber castle for these paintings so starting with the bigger one i am using some tape to separate the water line from the sky as i will be making a sort of seascape for this one so I picked Persian blue and scarlet for the shades of the sky. I'm making a gradient with the blue and red. After the gradient, I'm using scarlet red to add some clouds. And as you can see, it kind of blends in with the background because the background was still wet. And this is a mistake that I do a lot. I get really impatient and don't wait for the background layer to dry and add another layer. So it kind of blends in together. So I fixed that and waited for it to dry this time and added the clouds again. After this is completely dry, it's time to work on the water part. So I use the same colors that I use on the sky, but I use blue on the edges and added little squiggly lines to make it look like waves. Before adding any more details to the water, I'm using some black paint to paint the land so it's easy to separate the water and the sky and then I used some white gouache paint to paint a setting sun and added reflections to the water with the same white paint accordingly. After that, I'm just adding more details to the water. I think the water looks more realistic when I painted the edges slightly darker than the other colors. And if you've seen my older painting videos, you know I love adding silhouettes to paintings like these. So I'm using black paint to make some branches and leaves. I think silhouettes add a point of interest to any landscape or in this case a seascape painting. And it also takes your attention away from the little mistakes in the background. Also, if you think you've seen a similar painting, you probably have because I got inspiration for this by scrolling through Pinterest for hours and there's definitely similar paintings like this on Pinterest. I didn't think I could pull off a painting like this because I've never made seascapes with watercolor before but I tried and it turned out pretty good so I'm really happy with it. After I'm done with my silhouettes, I think I don't want to do anything more. I'm happy with how it's turned out so here's a little tape peel ace SMR for you guys. Now that the painting is completely dry, I always like to add a little coat at the bottom of my Polaroid paintings. So I'm using my Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen to write, enjoy the little things in life and this is how it turned out.
Next, let's work on the smaller Polaroids side by side. I used the washi tape for the edges again and I want to do a very orangey gold kind of sunsets for these. So for the right one, I wanted to do a seascape again but with a different color scheme. So I'm making a gradient of red and yellow for the sky. I'm using watercolor after ages so you can see I make a lot of little mistakes but I fix them really easily. As you can see, I didn't separate the sea water line and the sky this time and it's starting to blend together with the sky. But but I fixed it really easily and this is what I really like about using watercolor. I can fix my mistakes easily so I feel more free while working with it. Then again I used the white gouache paint to make a sun but I didn't really like it so I just blended it in with the sky. While we wait for that to dry, let's start on this painting. So for this one, I wanted to show how easy it is to make a Polaroid painting. I'm using oranges and yellows to create a gradient background. After that, I'm using the wet on wet technique to add clouds to the sky so I don't have a really simple background. This works well with any color of your choice, so you can definitely experiment with this. While this background dries, let's go back to our seascape. I'm using a mix of the red I used with some brown and I'm just adding squiggly lines again for the waves and you'll notice that I use darker shades as the waves go away from the setting sun. I'm also using different shades that I used in the sky to make the reflections in the water. Then I decided I wanted a golden setting sun so I'm using this light gold metallic color from my Koi palette and I'm adding the reflections accordingly to the water part. Finally, I'm adding a little flying bird with some black paint. Now for the second one, I'm just adding little branches as silhouettes and some birds. As I said, for this one, I wanted to show you how easy it is to make a Polaroid painting. You can make the background gradient using any color that you want and you can just add silhouettes like this, a little moon if you want to make a night sky and it's just so easy. So I'm just adding branches in my silhouette and made some little birds flying again and that's it for this painting. Finally, I'm adding some quotes to these. I wrote a sunset state of mind for this one and this is how this one turned out. For this one, I wrote you may say I'm a dreamer but it totally depends on you. You can write any quote that connects with you or that relates to you and this is how it turned out. I made watercolor Polaroid paintings after so long and I love how all of these turned out and I will definitely be making more in the future. I hope you like these easy watercolor Polaroid paintings and make sure to leave a like if you did and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!